Morning. It's uh, July 2021 and uh, we're just having a wander up the Watkin path which is the first. I've not been up this route to the top of Snowdon before. Absolutely glorious day. So uh, come and join us for a wander up. Watkins path is described as the second or third hardest route to the summit of Snowdon. It's actually the lowest starting point of any of the routes to the summit. Starting just a few metres above sea level. Sir Edward Watkin created this path from the existing quarry path to the summit of Snowdon to allow walkers to climb to the peak. The path was first opened in 1892 by the Prime Minister William Gladstone in front of 2,000 people. The Watkin path was to become the first official footpath in Great Britain. When you exit the woodland, directly ahead is the Tourist Information Board, which gives details of the Watkin path and also includes a map. We've just got our dash and Rollo with us today. We can pick her up and carry her on the harder sections. Mia is getting a little too old now for a route of this distance and Sky, our new puppy, isn't ready to walk these distances yet. Probably be another 12 months, but I'll put a few clips of her at the end of this video on the beach from the other day, just so you can get to meet her. Flowers in the sky still, absolutely brilliant. <laughs> About a mile up the walking path, yeah. you start to see all the really spectacular waterfalls, and I highly recommend. But if you don't want to make the full climb, just come and visit the waterfalls, especially on a nice hot day like today. As you pass a long derelict mining building at around two and a quarter miles, the path becomes rockier and steeper from this point on to the summit. Around three miles you can clearly see the final ascent to the top of Snowdon. This is a, a quite a steep scree section. At the top of the ridge, it's worth just taking a few minutes to 
this like your path so you can see the view down over the lake it's a clear day on the far side of the lake you'll be able to see the miners track pig track and then crib got route When you get to the end of the ridge, you start the final climb to the top of Snowden. By making this video in July 2021, they're well underway with the new path on this section. The, the top third was finished, the rest was still well under construction, uh, most of it, the majority. There's still a, a scree path, um, so it was still quite a scramble. But hopefully in the not too far distant future it will be finished and this section will be a lot safer and easier. Finally at the top we uh, caught a breath and had a good sit down and um, enjoying the views and grabbing some lunch. Um, as of July 2021 the cafe was still closed at the summit, uh, the train service still wasn't running so everybody at the top had basically made their own way there. Um, it was fairly busy, there was about 70 people I'd say constantly queuing to get to, the, uh, to have a photo at the summit. Um, but it, it was such a clear day it was really nice just to sit down, chill out and watch the world go by. On the way down we followed the same path that we uh, we took on the way up, sticking to the walking path to the top of the waterfalls, then we veered off left and tracked the waterfalls down on the opposite side to which we ascended.
This is the rest of it, cooling off, cooling off now. Summary for me, this is definitely my favourite route to Snowden. It's probably one of the hardest, but it's probably one of the most rewarding. Um, the views, um, the mix of woodland, open ground, the, the waterfalls, the ruins, and that scramble towards the end up to the summit, you know, all very enjoyable. Hard work, but very enjoyable. I've done the Lamberis Pass, the pig track, the miners track, but and this, this route's just got a little bit more <laughs> and I think the same goes for you as well doesn't it Ollie you, you said as you said earlier very picturesque <laughs> so so you found out we're on scenic <laughs> what did you reckon to eh? what did what did you reckon to that route that was awesome you like that route yeah also look at this in the floor it looks like a paw print in the oh, floor yeah, yeah. But you, you prefer the Lamberis Pass yeah. for the ease of walking it to the at top the of Snowdon, but you prefer, prefer the Watkins Pass time. for the water stuff at the bottom. Yeah, I prefer the bottom of this pass, but top of the other one. Especially with the dogs. Yeah. It's yeah. For the dogs. Is that the same for you, Rach? Yeah, same. Actually. Same, yeah, yeah. So if, if we come this way again, we'd come on a warm day and we'd only go up the, to the water. Yeah. We wouldn't walk to the top of Snowdon yeah, this week. we'd go the other path. Yeah. Oh, she would love just going in the water though. She's Labrador. We can go up one way and then come, come down, down this way. Yeah. 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 Down this way was good. Right. Yeah. yeah. It was just the, the top bit coming down when it was slipping. Yeah. 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 All the little bits. Mhm. Mm cool. We grabbed a drink at the bottom of the climb. Uh, there's a cafe just to the left of the exit of the walking path. Um, well worth a visit. Thanks again for watching and as I mentioned earlier here's a couple of clips of our new puppy Sky when we took her to the beach for the first time the other day. Welcome to, where are we? Where are we? Black, Black Rock. What is it? Yeah, Black Rock. Black Rock Beach, I can't, Black what's it called? Oh my god, we're not very good vloggers, are we? Now we don't even know where we are. Black, we're, we're in Wales. We're in Wales, that, that'll do. Good evening, and it's really windy. Windy, we're out, we're getting it on. Nat's got a new hat. Rollo's trying to fly with the big ears. And it's Sky's first time on week. the beach. Mir's looking confused. He's <laughs> looking a bit mentally. <laughs> <laughs>